What is up, guys? Deeport here from Deeport Gaming, and welcome to the winner's bracket for Group D here, ACS. Group stage, day two here, and it's between Mist and Danger. Both players taking convincing 2 0s in their first round in Danger. He is actually, fun fact, the only Orc player in this tournament. At least for the main event. And Mist, he uh, actually went for interesting approach. He went for Priestess in the Net Elf Mirror. This time, though, most likely going to be Demon Hunter standard. He is going for the Ancient War as well, and there's the DH. Would be surprised if anything would be different than the Blade as well here for Danger. But I'm excited. This should be a very good best of three. Remember, two people make it out of groups um, for each group. And this is going to be the series. Whoever takes the series will qualify for the playoffs, so they'll make it out of groups. And I think at the same time, um, it is Phoenix and Accounts, I believe, are, under attack. are playing in the lower bracket currently. But I'm ha I'm excited to see I've I've seen Mr's Night Elf Mirror. It seems pretty good. Um, but I'm excited to see how good his orc matchup is. Slippers, nice start there. Blade Master gonna sell his town portal, circle it most likely. And danger going for the one barrel tech, perhaps. And he is going for the Blade Master item stack. Hoping for claws. Maybe another circle as well. Ring of protection. Not ideal. You know, although missed, he is getting, I think, I believe that's a block. Um, no, I don't think it is actually. That's definitely, I think it's open. Tree of Ages. Commencing, and there is the stronghold with. Two barrels. Yeah, here goes a haste. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but Mist, he is coming through playing from Brazil. And danger he is from Peru. A player's forces are under attack. And like I mentioned, he is the single orc player in this main event. He's got his two cells and not too much action thus far. Boyd Master only sitting at level one here for danger. And missed, he is playing very safe with just his demon hunter out, not even sending his archer out. Most likely just fall to the blade. And not too much creeping, considering there's only really a Demon Hunter and Blade out thus far. Grunt, second Grunt here, so now Danger will be able to get some additional creeping now. And let's see what's, uh, Doctor Ordered, Slippers, not bad. Blade Master getting some pretty decent items. Here comes the Demon Hunter, though, gets his staff, not the boots. And looking for a Grunt. Nice critical strike there. He'll catch yourself, and Ancient Wonder's actually in the middle of the map. Most likely will be standard here for Mist. And no, oh, it's going to be Hunter's Hall. Okay. Mist is not going to play the traditional Druid of the Talons here. I already like it. It's going to be Dried Bears. And with that, will it be an actual Nagasi Witch? Nice timing here for Danger, though. He's going to find the Ancient Wonders. There's the Stronghold Tech. And he is going to show the Beastmaster still, but interesting. Hunter's Hall, so that's going to mean not Druid of the Talons, but from Danger's perspective, it definitely looks like Druid of the Talons. So it's going to be Beast Cheery. Spirit Lodger, well, he's already burrowing up, perhaps, thinking the Demon Hunter's coming in. Maybe it was a misclick. Oh, no, I don't think it was. He had all three. 
Blade Master can still get... I think he can still get his item here. There's the drag here. Mist actually going for a pretty bold camp. Blade Master right on top of it, though. No mana for Windwalks and no surprise creep jacks, but... Still able to spot it out, uh, scout it out and push him back for the time being. Pretty good bestiary timing in Spirit Lodge. And there are the lures. Very interesting. I don't think Blade Master or DH, they, don't, they both don't have boots. That's kind of interesting. Usually you always see at least one of them get a boost of speed. And another nice find there for danger. Torn Chieftain is second. and uh, Torn Chieftain, not the... Maybe a Shadow Hunter a little bit better against bears, but... You know, if you see the Beastmaster, it's you gotta go Torn Chieftain, right? You you have to assume it's gonna be Druid of the Talons. DH still level 1. Now Torn Chieftain gonna try to grab his level 2 and another slipper pick up this Boy Master getting some Players decent items. First Spirit Walker, Freighter, and Snare as well. And Mist still wants to go for this Mercenary Camp. Or Goblin Merch, rather. To get his staff for preservation. Good use. Might actually deny his archer. Looking for a block and no, Mist ain't gonna dodge it. He's got a win walk though. He denies it. Nicely done there for Mist. Will be tough. Expiring just in the nick of time. Torn Chieftain should get his level 2. And that's going to be Shockwave. It's going to be Dryads in Danger. Still has not scouted out the Druid of the Talons. Excuse me, Druid of the Claws or Dryads. The Lores, that's what I wanted to say. I don't think he's seen the dry just yet. Um, we don't see a war mill yet. One of his spear walkers trapped a little bit. Now some pressure here for danger. Looking to go inside the base, perhaps. Boyd Master picked up another gloves. And some unfortunate timing. He might have to be he might have the town portal here. Now he does see the lures and danger. Let's see if he's gonna switch up his strategy here, perhaps. He's got the spear link attached, maybe a whisk coming in for detonation, looking to heal up this moon well. He's gonna get one shockwave. Not the greatest, only hits the heroes, right? Doesn't even affect your eyes. Speed throw to get out, gets one moon well, hit and run, and didn't even lose a unit. Not too bad of a trade there for danger. Puts him down to 40 supply. And he does have the tier 3, so... I don't think I've seen him starting to make the Druid of the Claw upgrade, though. Any upgrades? Does not look like it. Sending over Peon look to be expansion attempt here. For danger. He's sitting at the 49 supply. And there's the War Mill. So now he's going to get a couple Kodos for the bears, most likely. There come the Druid of the Claws. There's the upgrade. Ooh, Quothalos. Nice item there for his blade. Yeah, the TC here, not the most ideal choice. Ooh. Tome of XP. That's going to get the TC close to three. And there's the, the Great Hall. I almost think, though, you, you know, when you see the Beastmaster, Mist... He ensures that Orc player has got to go for Torn Chief. And when you see the Beastmaster, it, it, it looks like Druid of the Talons. What a mana ceiling here picked up. And Blade, is he going to get uh, the Invul? He does. 50 food. Expansion going up. Meanwhile, 42 food. First, Druid of the Claw out with the Rejuve onto the Beastmaster. Players forces are under attack. And the creeping continues, looking for the level 3 TC. I like that aggressive uh, expansion temp here for danger. He kind of knew that it takes a while for Mist to ramp up and actually get a sufficient amount of bears, so he's going to try to flex that time, use that opportunity to get the expansion up. And he definitely does have the hero levels now, 3 TC, and he's hitting another perfect timing. 
Mist is going for the creep. He actually might be forced to TP here. Here we go. Wade Master Raiders coming on in. They do move pretty quick here with this Torn Chieftain. It is an aura level 2. Attack speed amplified as well. And he's going to go for Moonwells as well. How much damage can he do? There's no like Cyclone here, so it's difficult to catch the Orc Army considering I'll have Boot to Speed or Speed Scroll. There he goes, going for the first through the Claw. Nice. Dispel. Shockwave combination as well. Mana burn. He's still got one more shockwave. Blade Master always looking for the Beastmaster. Beastmaster might force a TP. He's gonna have to TP, right? There's the TP shockwave. A little bit too late there for danger. Now he's going on the bears. Might lose a, a grunt for this. Missed. Able to keep that Beastmaster alive just in the nick of time. But not. Not a pet trade right there for danger by any means. He might have lost one unit. Maybe even not. I want to say he did. Um, but, I mean, that's just buying more time for his expansion. There's the Code of Beast starting to come out as well, and, and he's looking in good shape. Actually, surprisingly, using that Shockwave pretty effectively. Oh, man, this Blade Master attacks so fast. With the level 2 Aura, 2 Slippers, 2 Gloves, and Quoth Loss. Look at that attack speed. It's ridiculous. It's still able to find some nice creep here. Owner Blade will be able to scout this out. Nice. More song. Battle jump picked up. Really good item there for his bears. Beastmaster 3. He's getting that those critical level 3s there for Night Elf. Chill one is going up and I'd say Danger still has a slight advantage now that he has the expansion grooving. This is a best of three, remember? The winner advances to the actual playoffs. The winner bracket finals here. Group D. Got that potion invul and a big one for his torn chieftain. Only one shockwave, so I have to use it early so he avoids the mana burn. No town portal for mist here. But danger looks to make the push here. Boyd Master going for the scout. You know, we got the ancient war quick. Dispel from the dryads. The one Kodo introduced, two Kodos introduced as well. 64 food here for Danger. Contrast is a 58 for Mist, and he is making another move on? No, it looks like he's just staying at the 60. And Blade, maybe he'll sell an item. And get a scroll, perhaps. Blade Master's kind of far away. He's got to wind walk and get over here quick. Miss is going to catch the tail and he's going to do speed scroll. Oh, we got the dispel. Kodo's going to be picked off, and that's huge. He's going to get one Kodo for free. And man, this Demon Hunter hits like a truck with roar and the battle drum aura. And another Kodo. Oh, man. Big mistake here for Danger. He's going to get two Kodos for free. Here you go. The Blade Master trying to get a few whacks. And will Danger re engage? Two Kodos. He might even lose a Grunt here. And now Miss, he, he was waiting for his timing. And now this bear army looks pretty scary. Blade Master. Needs to be careful. He doesn't have any more mana. And he needs to defend this expansion, though. What is it looking like? 64 food in contrast to the 58. Oh, a couple bears. A little bit out of place here. Missed. Gonna let two of them die, perhaps. He's getting two. Okoto eats it as well. Now danger. He's feeling his groove. Shockwave. I wonder if that caught. I don't think it did. The spell's going off. Needs the bear front line. Where is it? Those two early bears dying was pretty huge. Blade Master going off in the drides. Now it's on the Demon Hunter. Oh, he's getting a nice critical strike. However, Blade Master, he's got to use a big potion invul, right? Ooh, Demon Hunter still very close. He passed up invul from his Beast Master. The DH is no time portal, so he has to really commit to this. Oh, there's a staff getting the D DH out, but Beast Master's in some trouble now. He's staffing him back in. No, he canceled it. He accidentally canceled it, or the unit died. I think the dried died. Now Demon Hunter's stuck back, and the units are gone. And Danger is going to take down Mist here. In this game one winner bracket group D. Convincingly too. Not the greatest fight there for Miss. Need to heal up this moon well. He's gonna get one shockwave. Not the greatest, only hits the heroes, right? Doesn't even affect your eyes. Speed throw to get out, gets one moon well. Hit and run and didn't even lose a unit. Demon Hunter hits like a truck with roar. And the battle drum aura. And another Kodo. Oh man, big mistake here for danger. He's gonna get two Kodos for free. Those two early bears dying was pretty huge. Blade Master going off in the drides. Now it's on the Demon Hunter. Oh, he's getting a nice critical strike. However, Blade Master, he's got to use a big potion invul, right? Ooh, Demon Hunter still very close. He passed up invul from his Beast Master. The DH is no town portal, so he has to really commit to this. Oh, 
there's a staff getting the D DH out, but Beastmaster's in some trouble now. He's staffing him back in. No, he canceled it! He accidentally canceled it, or the unit died. I think the dry died. Now Demons are stuck back, and the units are gone, and Danger is gonna take down Mist here. Anyways, what's up, guys? Deport here from Deport Gaming, and welcome to game two in this best of three here. Let me adjust the color really quick. We have Mist and Danger. Danger taking a pretty good game one there. And Mist, he went for a unorthodox strategy, you could say. It was a Demon Hunter with the Beastmaster into Dried Bears against Orc. And G Danger adapted pretty well. He got the expansion up, got a couple Kodos, although he did lose two Kodos early on. Um, he was able to pull off the, the, the fight pretty convincingly, and that's with a Torn Chieftain as well. It was interesting that Mist, he went for the Beastmaster so that, as an Orc player, you really just transition into... You think it's Druid of the Talon, so he went for the Torn Chieftain, but the Shadowhunter might have been a better option. But tough to scout that out. Meanwhile, though, this is Game 2, Group D. ACS, actually the winner of this match, is going to get a spot for the playoffs and take the group as the top seed here. Danger just needs one more win. Let's see if Mist can come back and do the reverse sweep, you could say. Demonter here on Twisted Meadows. Blade Master in Danger he is not going for. He did the uh, the Voodoo Lounge one barrel tech last time. He's going to play a little bit more conservative here. Get the second barrel up and get some more grunts so he can creep here. Maybe he'll go for the small troll trapper for the Tome of XP. Does not look like it. Just gonna sell the TP and get the circlet. He's heading over in the right direction here for Mist. Mist should be okay though. No major creep jacks. To pick up the good circle here, Blade Master. Pretty sure Mist did see that, so let's see if he's gonna try to avoid this creep jack. Blade Master should get it. Nice little win there for Danger. Grunt is here. Archer looks pretty juicy. Meanwhile, though, back up north. Base has not started teching just yet. Should be soon. It's wide open. Blademaster might look for a whisk. He's going to go for the cancel on the Moomo. Should be able to get it as well. So it's going to be a two grunt tack with the stronghold. Whisk coming in. Oh, this could be super close. He's going to have to cancel, right? Yeah, there's the cancel. Good, good, good there for danger. Took a decent amount of right click on his blade, though. And Mist, he really wanted to heal that up and keep it up. There's the tech, actually. He was going for the three Moonwell tech? Yeah. Got one canceled, though. Not too much experience here for Danger. Just putting on the pressure. Now small green camp for Mist. This should get, give him level two. Ooh, Grunts came in. Blade Master, is he gonna get the boots? Danger actually didn't get the boots of speed last game. Twisted Meadows, though, a little bit bigger map. It's a little important there. Demonter looking for it. He sees the boots are gone. Maybe he'll get the dust instead. Maybe he needs to get the uh, the staff. And yeah, he does. He knew he thought he might get trapped. Pretty smart there. Oh, that could have been. He could have been in some pretty bad danger if Danger bought the. Uh, Staff of TP. A lot of Moomos here. Do we see the Hunter's Hall? No Hunter's Hall, so it's going to be Druid of the Talons. Most likely. He still has time to get his Hunter Hall up if he wants to switch it. But he did it last time. Didn't work. He doesn't have too many games to mess around here. It's only best of three, so... Finally, Danger looking for his level two. Ring of Protection, not ideal. Some 
Wisp outside of the base here. No, Hunter's Hall. So it's going to be Druid of the Talents. Crown's coming on in here. Danger. I wonder if it's a little mind game now that he saw that Miss was going for Dried Bears last game. So maybe he'll switch up his second hero. He is going standard still. Beast Jerry, Spirit Lodge. And the tier 2 here from Miss about to complete. No Wiss in the middle, so he's not going to get a second hero just for the time being. Grunt just barely missing the block. Boyd Master still on the chase here at the DH. DH still has pretty good base movement speed, though, even without the boots. Oh, there's the second hero. Just kidding. It's a Beastmaster. It is going to be the Ancient of Winds. No surprise here. Archer looking for the block there. Kobe's coming back in. Oh, wouldn't that have been cool if he got to surround with his grunts on that? There's the straight tech to Tree of Eternity. And it's Shadow Hunter. He's mixing it up. So he went for Torn Chief from the first time. And I'm pretty sure he did see the wins, but he still decides to go for the Shadow Hunter. So shaking things up a little bit. That's fun to see. Now missed. He's going for the North Natural. And a lot of um skirmishes thus far. Both both of the heroes still not both to level three. Should be after this though. Void Master, he wants a, a juicy item here. Claws, just what he wanted. What do we grab here? I think it was a boots. There's a Shadow Hunter Speed Scroll. First Raider out here as well. Danger's at 40 foot to 25 talents. Should be out soon, though. Only halfway to tier 3. And let's see if Danger can use it. It's very critical that he uses these early hacks, uses the Shadow Hunter early here when he has that surprise factor in the first fight. Because I don't think Miss has seen the Shadow Hunter just yet. First couple hacks is going to be huge. And a potion of invul for the blade. Actually, that's huge. If he saves that for the town fights, 15 seconds. Incredible. Here we go. First hacks coming in, perhaps. Blade Master. He's kind of running away, though. And he did see the Shadow Hunter. And missed. Uh, Got to go back in Turtle. Texture to be out to complete soon. Blade Master gonna get scout out the, the Demon Hunter too. Wonder if Danger will go for an expansion here. He's got a lot of map control. Not sending over a peon just yet. Kind of babysitting here, just gonna get some more creeping with his Shadow Hunter, grab that level two, getting closer and closer to level three. And can't really afford to creep right here. I mean, he doesn't have the town level 2, so Blade Master is very scary for cre potential creep jack. Doesn't have that tr master training just yet. And here's the peon. Okay, so he's going to go for the expansion. -y. Danger likes that map control. I'm going to drop it down. Tell some invasion. Not too bad. Might get rid of the ring for it and give that to the blade. There's that great hall. A couple more burrows. Has not. Doesn't need the war mill. Demon Hunter gonna grab his over venom. Tinker is now picked up as well. Shed Hunter. Should get level 3 from this, meanwhile, though. Some creeping from Mist. He's uh, almost there for a fight. Almost at 50 food talents. Bone chimes. Wow. Danger getting some really good items. He sold the talisman, I think, right? Yep. Picked up a scroll for his blade as well. And now some timing. Danger really has some good timing here. Let's see. Is Miss going to head down south? He doesn't have a town portal. Okay, he does. On his beast. Does see the Ancient of War. He might kill that first. 
Miss really needs to use that time to get some good creeping. I'll get that DH3. Beastmaster closer to three. He's gonna do exactly that. Is it maybe a couple? Well, a scroll feeling not as critical, but always nice to have. Without a torn chieftain here, the burst damage not as insane. But he's got a TP soon. He's gonna lose a couple moon moles if he doesn't respect this. Ancient Warner's gonna be taken down first. 48 food to 55 here. Danger in the lead in that department. He picked up a couple mercenaries as well. At least just one berserker. There's a town porter. Gonna catch at least one grunt here. Maybe second. He's gonna re-engage the oh the tinker. He's got a potion invul. Gonna use it now. And that's 15 seconds. He's going for the Beastmaster. Oh, Beastmaster's in trouble. He's gonna toss up some raiders. There's the dispel. He's trying to get him out. Oh, he kind of surrounded himself with his quillbees. Could he needs to move the quillbees. He's still gonna fall. Voidmaster gonna get the last whack. Maybe not even. Now he's gonna go for the Tinker. Tinker still has a scroll of healing. There's no protection items though. The big invul's down. Dispel being used. Now he's going for the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter. There's no more moon juice. He might be in some trouble. He's in the under snare. He's gonna use the scroll of healing. Should be okay. The talents are super healthy, but the heroes might just be an issue. Now Tinker always oh, caught out a little bit. The summon's doing work here. Four missed. Danger's still here, though. He needs his Demon Hunter to get some right clicks in here. He needs that damage. He might actually force Mist back here. There's another Pocket Factory going down, and Mist able to hold for the time being. Mana Burn, no more mana here for the Shadow Hunter. He's waiting for the couple of Raiders coming down. Blade Master now. He's going on some talents. Gonna take off one. Looking for the second one. Tinker needs to be careful, too. There's an Ensnare. Blade Master focusing the Demon. Demon Hunter always oh, getting critical strikes. He's kind of surrounded now. He's always oh, definitely surrounded now. Blade Master gonna finish him off, and that's gonna be GG. Danger. He has qualified for playoffs. And Miss is gonna go down to the lower bracket finals. Wiss coming in. Oh, this could be super close. He's gonna have to cancel, right? Yeah, there's the cancel. Good, good, good there for Danger. Took a decent amount of right click on his blade, though. He's got a potion invul. Gonna use it now, and that's 15 seconds. He's going for the Beastmaster. Oh, Beastmaster's in trouble. He's gonna toss up some raiders. There's the dispel. He's trying to get him out. Oh, he kind of surrounded himself with his quillbees. He needs to move the quillbees. He's still gonna fall. Voidmaster gonna get the last whack. Maybe not even. He's getting critical strikes. He's kind of surrounded now. He's always oh, definitely surrounded now. Blademaster gonna finish him off, and that's gonna be GG. Danger.